Good morning, Deep South CrossFit. Today is Wednesday, and our workout is a lovely 20-minute AMRAP of weighted box step-ups and a variation of sit-ups that you can do either at home or at the gym. So, looking at this workout, you're just basically going to be moving through a consistent pace, something that you can potentially keep up over the 20 minutes. We've got to remember that as CrossFitters, we're not used to these long 20 minute workouts, so we don't want to go off too hard. We want to set a pace that we can hang on throughout, potentially even speed up in the last couple of minutes of the AMRAP. So, if you do not have a box at home, or if you don't have a box at the gym, you can swap those out for box step up. Um, sorry, you can swap that out for lunges. That's also going to be weighted. I would like the weight for the box step up and the lunges to be at a dead hang. So you will hang it down, you will lunge, or you will step up. Okay. With regards to the sit up variations, we've given quite a few options that you, you can um, choose from. If you have a GHD at home or at the gym, by all means, go for GHD. If you're going to do GHD, please remember it's slightly less, so we're going to go with 15 reps. Otherwise, V-up, fantastic option, remembering that form we spoke about. Weighted V-ups, making it a little bit more difficult for yourself. Strict legs above waist, if you have anything to hang on. Um, wall ball sit-ups can be done with the wall ball over your head, or it can also be done with the wall ball behind your back and you're overextending, reaching to get to the ground. It's a very similar, stimu similar stimulus to the GHD. Um, and then we've got the, the wonderful stick sit-ups that we all know and love so well. Um, if you're at home, you can grab a broomstick. You can also grab a towel, wrap it, or wrap it up, put it behind your back so you've got a little bit of that ab mat stimulus going on as well. So just a nice tough grind getting yourself through this workout. It becomes a bit of a mental workout in the last five minutes, so just keep moving. After which, if you, again, if you have the equipment at home or at the gym, we're gonna work on some strict shoulder press. So sticking with that five times five, building to a moderately heavy weight, um, making sure that with the strict shoulder press, we, we can't go up too quickly, too soon. So making sure that as we're increasing, we, we're increasing in that lower weight, weight range that we normally would, and we're sticking to good form. What we don't want to see is a dip forward, and then an overextension backwards. It is purely head back, up, and down again. All right, our gymnastic skills accessory piece for the day is um, pretty much wherever you're at on your handstands. Um, if you're working on your holds and trying to hold for, for longer or trying to hold away from the wall, spend about five, five to eight minutes doing that with adequate rest in between shaking off your arms. Otherwise, you can set yourself a little distance to try and walk to. And do a walk or two rest walk or two rest spend a couple of minutes doing that as well otherwise we're going to be working on our strict push-ups handstand push-ups um, again you can put some cushions if you're at home some pillows down to a certain target and just keep working on that target and keep working on that depth and range of motion in your strict handstand push-ups cool have fun let us know if you have any questions